As you already know, the NRA is one hell. They're one hell of a monster to fight with. Yes, America, it indeed is true. And they have taken, they have found their new enemy. So as you already know, Regina Benjamin, the former Surgeon General, has resigned. Uh, and Dr. Marthy, um, Vicky, Vicky Marthy, um, was nominated by the president to, be the, to take the role of Surgeon General. Now, Regina Benjamin, awesome, awesome, awesome sauce lady. I know her. She's awesome. Love her. Um, she focused on childhood obesity. She focused on nutrition. Welp, this new nominee, their area of research has everything to do with gun violence uh, and the impact that gun violence has on our communities and the impact that gun violence has on the lives of individuals. And because of that, she, they, have, they, they are taking some heat from the National Rifle Association to the point where there is a possibility that the White House might decide to delay or possibly even kill the nomination because they already know. The problem lies here, and here is the big problem. This is why the NRA is winning right now in the United States Senate, right? Four states, three states actually, Arkansas, Alaska, and Louisiana. Those represent, that's Mark Pryor, that's Mark Begich, and that is Senator Landrieu. And I would also throw in there North Carolina, Kay Hagan. Those four members have very, 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 very tight midterm elections coming up. And they know that taking on the NRA in their state could cost them their seat. It's not the first time we've seen this. The NRA is so powerful at promoting this killing machine that they believe in, they're willing to go balls to the wall and take these people on. Remember, folks, it was just a couple weeks ago, months ago, where the Mansion Toomey bill, which would have allowed for more background checks, one of the most watered-down gun regulations that we've seen in recent history, was stalled because the NRA got to work convincing moderate individuals, moderate members, that they are indeed for guns. Like, they go and, like, listen, you're for guns, and when you, if you decide you're not going to be for guns, we're going to vote you out. And we're not really going to vote you out. We're just going to spend a lot of money in your state and carpetbag you, which is what they basically do, in a nutshell. Either way, either way, this just shows the upheaval in Washington when one group of people the National Rifle Association has so much control over our general, our general populace. You know America. You know we are in big trouble. <laughs>